Hello, I'm Leslie Hatfield from the Green Fork blog at eatwellguide.org and today I'm at the Maryland Film Festival um, talking to Robert McFalls, director of Homegrown, which just um, screened to a very enthusiastic audience. Um, Robert, why don't you tell us about your film? Okay, um, Homegrown is about a, a family. I mean, I think primarily an a, a inspirational film about a family uh, overcoming a lot and they, they have a, a small fifth of an acre lot right off the freeway in Pasadena and they grow about 6,000 pounds of produce on this one lot and uh, they also are off the grid meaning that they use solar power and kind of do everything environmentally you can imagine really and, and make and really make a go of it that way. They also have a website that gets about 4,000 hits a day and it's really an intimate portrait of them as sort of the uh, 21st century family farm, or as I like to say, little house in the prairie in the 21st century. <laughs> in you know, Pasadena. Some, yeah, exactly. And and so it's kind of urban, urban, urban homesteading is what they call it. How has making the film changed you? Um, well, I would say that I'm probably more conscious of my water usage in my home. I mean, I, I'm, uh, as I say, I, I'm not doing anything nearly as much as they are. Uh, but I'm, I think partly making it was a kind of a way I knew, I sensed when I met them that there is something right in what they're doing, that it's right for our times and the future. So I was in a screening and just as the movie started, the woman behind me whispered, oh what did she say, um, she said this, I'm going to be inspired by this film. And the woman next to her said, I know, and she said, I'm going to want to start a garden. Um, did you set out to make a hopeful film? Um, yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, I wanted it to be um, inspirational, no question, no question about it. I mean, it's always trying to try a balance between being honest and going, showing people's difficulties and how that it's, that they went through different family struggles and human struggles and difficulties in getting the farm going and all that. Uh, but, but ultimately wanting it to be a human portrait of an activist. I mean, something that even as a non-activist you can watch and become involved in and just their human struggles and, and like them and, and maybe be you know, moved to do a little bit more. We may be going to a more back to basics life. Not only by choice, but by a necessity. And I guess I wanted to paint a picture that it's not that bad. You know that that there there there's some good that can come out of that. That that back to basics can be a positive thing, and and we ought to move into the future with our arms open uh, rather than f afraid of it. And and if we the sooner we can do that, the less problems hopefully we'll have, and you know we can move forward from there. Great. Well, thank you for talking to me, and and thanks for making this film. I thought it was great. Thank you very much.